The UN administration is poised to welcome new faces following a major cabinet reshuffle earlier on this Thursday aimed at adding fresh momentum into state policy initiatives. I have our presidential office correspondent Oh Suyang live on the line with details. Suyang, do fill us in. Hi, Sunny. So um, there's been quite a large reshuffling, as you said, with 15 minister and vice minister level appointments named across 11 ministries on Thursday. First, the unification minister, who will handle inter-Korean affairs, that's going to be an expert in the field uh, called Kim Yong-ho, who is currently a professor of political science and diplomacy at Tongshin Women's University, also an advisor to the government. He's known to be rather firm on North Korea policy and will be working uh, very much in line with the Yoon government's audacious initiative, which sets out incentives for North Korea should it choose to denuclearize. And um, Kim is also expected to uphold Yoon's call for human rights in North Korea. And as the minister, uh, minister nominee was introduced, he vowed to do his utmost for a peaceful and orderly unification of South and North Korea. Current South Korean ambassador to Thailand, Moon tong is going to be his deputy. Another ministerial level pick was that of Kim Kim Il, a prosecutor of 28 years, uh, as the Commissioner for Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights. Now, when it comes to the vice minister uh, vice ministerial level appointments, things get rather interesting. First, the uh, very unexpected pick for Deputy Vice Culture Minister, uh, former weightlifting gold medalist Chang Miran, who is currently a professor at Yongin University's Department of Sport. Now, a UN administration official explained that the weightlifting legend was chosen for her resilience and discipline uh, shown in both the field and also from an um, academic position. Also, what was very notable about this uh, cabinet reshuffle was that five current presidential secretaries were placed in various key ministries. First, uh, current sec presidential secretary for management, Kim Jin, as the first vice minister at the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport, with... Um, Pei Guangguk as his deputy. Park song un the presidential secretary for planning, is going to be the vice minister of oceans and fisheries, while Yin sang uh, sorry, presidential secretary for state affairs, is appointed as vice minister of environment. And the president's current science and tech secretary, uh, Cho song kyung is going to be the vice minister of science and ICT. And there are other appointments, of course, including current uh, ambassador to Vietnam, Oh young -ju, who's going to be the deputy vice foreign minister. Han Eun, who is currently the head of statistics Korea, he'll be heading the, uh, sorry, he'll be the vice agricultural minister. And there are several other minister, uh, vice ministerial positions at the finance, startup and labor ministries, along with the head of the National Human Resource Development Institute. Right, indeed. So, Seung, broadly speaking, what are the implications of this latest reshuffle? Well, it means that President Yoon uh, really wants to waste no more time in pushing through major policies. His presidential secretaries were placed in the ministries that preside over the most critical socio-economic issues in South Korea today, uh, from policies on inter-Korean relations, uh, housing and infrastructural development, to innovation and labor reform. So senior UN officials have told reporters that uh, secretaries, the secretaries named today, they were assigned to their respective positions as they're uh, believed to have a deeper understanding of the direction of the administration's major policy philosophy. Vice Minister appointments, they're also rather easy, um, they're relatively easier to push through because uh, the candidates are simply named rather than going through a hearing procedure as ministers do. And of course, um, there's also next year's general elections to think about as key figures in Yoon's party uh, want to reposition themselves. So the vice ministerial appointees are going to be officially instated on July 3rd, that's Monday, while the unification minister was going to have to go through a separate confirmation process. That being said, Yoon's office did, did not name um, a new head of the Korea Communication Commission as uh, the presidential advisor Yi dong who's long rumoured to be up for the job. He's been facing quite a lot of controversy domestically over the uh, bullying and violence allegations made under his son. Well, that's all from me from now. Back to you, Sunny. All right, Seung, I see. Thank you for that coverage. That was our senior top office correspondent with the latest on Thursday's cabinet reshuffle.